Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Mood disorders and you're looking at its patterns. So as we move ahead, we are going to see the basic skeleton of what we are going to discuss. So assume this line to be the euthymia. And the line above, that is we have putting a threshold. This will be the threshold for the mania. So threshold for the mania. And bottom, we are putting a threshold and this will be for the depression. So this is what we are going to deal with in all diseases. So there's mania and the midline euthymia and the below will be the line for depression. Now let's break down each disorders. The first is the unipolar. The first we are looking at the unipolar depression. So unipolar depression and or the major depressive disorder. Are you looking at the major depressive disorder? So in terms of unipolar depression or the major depression disorder, so there is presence of euthymia. So this is nothing but euthymia. And this, the effect will lead that there will be a depressive disorder and episode. And then later, there will be again another depressive disorder. So what we are seeing is at least two month gap will be present among them. And then again, this will be for uh, two weeks. So each episode will be for two weeks or more. So it'll be at least for two weeks or more. And then again, this uh, episode will continue and this will move on to the one year. Okay, this will be about unipolar depression and the major depressive disorder. Next, we move on to the bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder and we are looking at the type one. So bipolar disorder type 1 and this is nothing but a single episode. So as per this, uh, let's look at the, the manic episode. So when you look at the manic episode, it will be on top. It will be on top. That is the episode of threshold of mania. Next, we move on to the bipolar disorder type 1. So there is bipolar bipolar disorder type 1 bipolar disorder type 1 and this will be recurrent and here what happens is there will be again an episode and this will be followed by at least two months of gap and then there will be another one of episode of mania and this goes on this will be the bipolar disorder type 1 and this is nothing but recurrent so it can happen like this and next there is another variance such as there may be one episode of mania followed by an episode of uh, depression so this mania it can be about one week or more and then there's depression for about two weeks and again there can be an episode of mania the next variety is where we look at there can be multiple episodes of mania so there is a mania and this will be for one week or more next there can be an episode of uh, four days or more and this will be hypomania this will be nothing but hypomania next we look at the other variety the other variety is where we'll have an episode of depression and this will be two weeks or more Next, there will be another episode and this will be a type of mania and then there will be another episode. This will be four days. So this will be one week and next will be four days of or more. Now let's move on to the bipolar type 2. So in terms of bipolar 2, there will be a significant amount of change that is uh, there can be a movement of uh, mania and this is not going up to the threshold of mania so this is just mania and then there can be threshold of process the threshold of depression so there is uh, this will be two weeks or more this will be two weeks or more next is there will be another episode so the episodes will be uh, mania but it is not uh, crossing the threshold of mania then will be another episode of depression so this will qualify as the bipolar type 2 so it is nothing but bipolar type 2 
So there will be a rapid cycling in the bipolar type 1 and 2 in which 4 or more mood disorders are present within 1 month, 1 year. So there will be 4 or more. So 4 or more mood episodes, 4 or more mood episodes and this is seen within 1 year, within 1 year. Next what we have is dysthymia. So there is dysthymia. So here in dysthymia there is a euthymia. There is presence of euthymia. So here in euthymia there is greater than 2 years in adults and greater than 1 year in children and adolescents. So there is greater than 2 years in terms of adults and there is greater than 1 year. So greater than 1 year in terms of children as well as adolescents. So let's look at the threshold for the depression. This will be the threshold for the depression. So in dysthymia, there will be fluctuations, but it will be prolonging. So there's a continuous presence of the low mood will be present. And next we move on to something known as a double depression. So in terms of double depression, we are referring it to as a years greater than two years in terms of adults. So in terms of adults, we are calling it greater than two years and greater than one year and this is in terms of children as well as the adolescents. So children as well as adolescent. So here let's draw the line of depression. So this is line of depression. So you are saying it fluctuates here and it dips. It crosses the threshold of depression and once and again it falls and again there is a dip in the threshold of the depression. So there are two episodes. So this is known as a double depression. Next we look at the cyclothemia. So what is special about cyclothemia? Cyclothemia. So in terms of cyclothemia, there will be the threshold, the threshold for mania, euthemia and the threshold of depression. So here it starts with the area below the, above the threshold of depression. And then again, there will be a four days or more. So there will be a normal period. There will be four days or more. 4 days for FD and then again it dips and it doesn't cross the threshold of depression and then again we have a period and then again there will be another increase this will be the uh, depression again a depression episode this will be above the threshold for depression to learn and grow daily like this please do subscribe Oh, 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 oh,